The Morning Breeze. The Morning Breeze. On Demand. It's Carolyn McArdle from The Morning Breeze. As you know, I have been a Patelco Credit Union member for going on almost 30 years now. I know all of us heard the news about the closure of Silicon Valley Bank and the issues at First Republic. And I thought about what does that mean for us as consumers? So there's no one better to go to than my friends at Patelco Credit Union, straight to the top, to their CEO, Aaron Mendez, joining me today. Aaron, what does this news mean for the average consumer? Well, first, yes, people are very anxious, I think, about about the situations. You know, it's difficult to understand how this all happened, and people are worried about what might be next. I've certainly heard from many of my friends and family members asking for advice all around this. So personally, here's what I tell people. There are several factors and events that led to the issues at SVB and First Republic. But I think the most important thing to know is that none of their customers lost money. I also remind people that it's a good time right now to learn about insurance that protects their money at their bank or at their credit union. Well, that's an interesting point because we're hearing a lot now, of course, about insurance. So what do we need to know about deposit insurance in particular? Well, first of all, both banks and credit unions are federally insured. Banks are insured by the FDIC and credit unions are insured by the NCUA. Both protect accounts up to 250000 but what most people don't know is that it's easy to set up your accounts to double or triple the amount if you have more than 250000 at one place. Now, the additional insurance applies to consumers and is not extended to businesses. That's what the analysts are talking about when you hear that only 12% of the accounts at SVB were insured, as most deposits were business deposits and not consumers' deposits. Now, in contrast, 68% of all bank deposits are insured and over 90% of credit union deposits are insured. And this is because credit unions tend to focus predominantly on consumers. That makes sense. So then what have you guys at Patelco shared with your members? Well, you know, we let our members know right away that their credit union is safe, sound, in an excellent financial condition. We're one of the largest and fastest growing credit unions in California with a very diverse membership. Our members are loyal and we continue to grow despite uncertainty elsewhere. We also let them know that over 94% of the deposits at Patelco are insured. And most importantly, we have reaffirmed our focus on the long-term obligations to our members and will simply not waver on this commitment. Let me ask you about the banking industry in general. Are you concerned about the banking industry as a whole? Are you personally concerned? No, I think the banking industry is in good shape, and um, I'm not worried about it at all. Okay, good. Do you have any last words of advice, Any anything that you want to share that you think would put us at ease? Well, of course. <laughs> My best advice is to actually bank with a credit union, and you know I'm partial to Patelco. <laughs> you know, credit unions by design are more conservative than banks. They are not-for-profit financial cooperatives, so any profits go back to our members or retain to build financial strength. The member-owned philosophy means that they can put the financial well-being of the members first. And at Patelco, we take our mission on building our members' financial wellness as job number one. Aaron Mendez, CEO of Patelco Credit Union, thank you. This was so informative. I feel better. I hope people listening feel better. Really appreciate you taking the time out of your busy schedule to be with us today. A pleasure, and thank you. For more information, you can go to patelco.org. Patelco Credit Union is insured by the NCUA.